Okay, so today I'm going to draw a bottle and we are going to see how different materials react to light and shadow. So, first of all, let's choose a dark color so we can start drawing. I start drawing with the outlines. So, the lines that surround your object and I need to check my brush properties transfer and maybe less spacing okay so the surrounding lines we are going to draw them You can start from a point and compare everything to your starting point when you draw. So for example how far that curve goes, how big is that curve. How far should I draw after drawing that curve? I also am going to use the crop tool to extend my document using a background color to fill it up. Alt back space, Control D. All right, so let's continue drawing. You can always hold down shift to draw a straight line but right now I want to see how my hand going to do. So here is the end of the bottle. So as you can see I draw a bottle and I want to draw a little bit of background for it a table and that's enough so after that I'm going to fill my drawing with a new layer put it on multiply and use a different color all over it but like that and let's use a brighter color for the table so as you can see I draw my lines in a different layers, layer and my colors in another layer. So let's create a new layer and choose a brownish color for our butter. Let's zoom a little and continue drawing. bottle with this brown color now let's choose a darker color so we can start drawing the base shadows One thing about drawing different materials, especially glass, is everything reflects 
reflect on them and you should see so many things in them for example this shape here represents the table and we're gonna have see a something like a window here Continue its light down, all the way down, and repeat that window here, and continue right here. So a little bit of details for that window. Like this. And as you can see, this extremely help to mimic a shiny surface so I need some brighter colors than what I have here for this part like this and show so we have to move along the shape to create an illusion of a glass that formed in a different way it's not a flat surface so that's why do these curves here also I need some highlights here so when you draw a glass it's completely full of reflections I need a darker color for this part and a brighter color like this or maybe more green of that exact exact thing like this okay so more highlight so the light of that window came in we have it here here and we are going to have it here here and here so we can portray the shape of the button also here and we're going to have some highlights here as well also some darker edge spot okay so let's see I need some darkness here and maybe some in here also okay so it's shaping now also some dark colors for this area and make it more straight Um, shadow here for the background so shadow of a glass bottle is not always very dark 
because the light go through the glass and what we are going to see is a different type of shadow so usually we're going to have a lighter part in it like this and some darker parts as light travels and bend in a glass and some lighter parts here so basically this, we're gonna have a zone in our shadow that is like a light that goes to a magnifying glass it's brighter then goes to darkness like this and also let's see I'm going to make some parts lighter or add some shadows inside the glass so we have more depth like this and maybe some lighter green representing the background color so I add green to the mix Okay, let's make a dark hair part here. Okay. And some of that darkness is going to be in this edge. And let's see, we're going to have light in that edge too, but not in the entire also some shadows here and some highlights too maybe let's add some yellow to the mix little bit here and continue mixing them up also I want to have a brighter edge here because I'm going to show you that it helps to create a See? immediately you feel that it's more glassy like than before so let's add a shadow behind it so you're gonna have both light and shadow together very close together and that's going to give you a bottle that is glass let's add some colors to them here also some parts going to have some shadows so some blended shadows not very sharp but something that going to add depth to your drawing Okay. 
so continuing that light edge to the top like this and this all right so let's draw more details to the background a little bit so make this part darker detail for the table too some shadows so we, see, we can show there's some kind of cloth on the table Maybe a little bit highlight for those. Right. So, a little bit of reflection always could help because every surface that light going to bounce of it going to have some reflection to the background or the objects that are near it so that's it for today I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something actually this is the first time i'm going that i teach i think in my channel and hope you like it please consider subscribing and see you in the next one thank you for watching